Good evening and thank you for joining us. There are new developments today related to that deadly weekend shooting at the Oasis Lounge in Clay County. Three people are suing the lounge owner and the company providing security that night. In his lawsuit, attorneys for Colbin Hogan say the 19 year old was shot three times last week during the mass shooting incident. Soraya Edwards and Deidre Colburn claim they were grazed by a bullet. 20 year old Talise Chandler died in the gunfire. Owners Tony Harris and Elmer Harris, along with Elite Warriors security team, were mentioned as defendants in the lawsuit. It's estimated 300 people were in the building when the shooting started. Elmer Harris told the Clay County Board of Supervisors 14 security guards were at the Oasis Lounge the night of the shooting. The plaintiff's attorney says it's not necessarily the number that's in question. There's been uh, several things have been stated uh, to me in interviewing folks that I've talked to, uh, including my clients and uh, at least one other person who was there. It doesn't seem that uh, security was checking everybody that was coming in and out of the building. Of course, you know, if they check them coming in, they don't necessarily have to check them coming out. But when they come out and go back in, they need to be checked again. It seems like security dropped the ball and wasn't doing those things is what it sounds like. Moore says he may be representing more clients who were injured during that shooting and he encourages anyone with information to contact local authorities. 